What up, all of our food lovers, our food critics, our fruities? So Ronan and I are here in Somerset, Massachusetts to do a review on Sonic's American Drive-In. Now, Sonic is one place that we have not gone to yet here on the Food Level Review, so Ronan's already on the inside, so we're going to go in, meet up with him, look at their menu, see what they've got, and uh, order some food. With all that said, let's head on inside, meet up with Ronan. Uh, we'll be right back with all of you in just a moment. This is Ronald Lavelle here with Tough Daddy at Sonic Drive-In in Somerset, Massachusetts. We decided to try Sonic today. I don't know if you would call it a series, but, it, you know, we, we in fast food joints and stuff like that that we have done in the past. We're looking forward to trying some of the food here. And actually, I was surprised I they that mentioned that they had a football and hot dog. I've seen a hot dog so big. So this is going to be interesting to see the size of this thing. So this place is very open, very clean. Customer uh, service so far has been outstanding. They have a lot of different things on their menu. We've only ordered a few things. Everything came to about $37 in total. Look at how big that is. So we'll show you everything that we got. Now this is one of the last fast food joints that are kind of like a classic one, meaning they they come out and bring the food to you, whether you sit in a dining room or especially out to your car on roller skates. Uh, something you don't really see anymore, so glad to see that uh, there's at least a place still keeping up with that American remember. nostalgia, you know, keeping part of Americana alive. We'll be right back with all of you once when the food comes. The fries are really good. Nicely seasoned. We've got a nice little crunch but it's soft at the same time this is really actually nice uh i better say they did a good job look at this this is a smash burger it's two patties and they're smashed now this is what a smash burger is supposed to be like i went to one place one time um it was not juicy it didn't have the flavor like this this is really good really really nice nice juicy it is just right really good with your soda they give you an after dinner mint some places i've gone to don't have the flavor like this very nice, very juicy. I like the cheese. It's almost like a, I don't know if you would say a, maybe a Velveeta cheese or a nacho cheese, but it's very, very delicious. I haven't been here in a long while. I remember bringing my mother here when she was alive and she liked the ice cream that they have here. I know I brought my sister here, and I got myself a nice Diet Coke, and I asked them for lemon to put inside, and they had no problem. Live free, eat Sonic, you know. Good slogan, good food. Got a lot of food here. Actually, there's one thing I got, a burrito. So, since that's on top, let's try this first. Also got some tarts. I love potato tarts. Mm. Oh, those are nice and crunchy, good flavor. Mmm, salsa. Look at how big this is. Oh, look at this. This has some eggs, sausage, jalapenos. It has uh, cheese, which they call queso here, but it's still cheese. It's just cheese in Spanish. Some tomato. Sausage. I mean, just look at that. Look at how packed that is. That's good. And this isn't like a processed egg like most places. I mean, look at this. This is actually like a, a cooked egg. 
I'm like a grill top. Nice and fluffy, good flavor. Let's try it here with some of the Sonic Seltzer. Actually got more than one flavor for a diet soda. For anyone that just likes drinking diet for whatever reason, or for those that have no choice because maybe you're diabetic or you gotta watch out for sugar. This is really good though. Salsa just by itself has good flavor. And the burrito itself has good flavor. I mean, these are the fast food joints that try burritos. Not as good as this one. Like Burger King being one of them. Like Burger King, don't get me wrong. But the burritos that they sell doesn't match up or compare to this. I mean, look. And then this is a real egg. You can tell from the way it's cooked and folded. You can tell from the flavor too, it's not like a processed egg. It's the combination of the, the cheese, the egg, tart that's in it, with the jalapenos, gives it that nice spicy flavor. The sausage is good. Uh, it's like a peppery sausage. Then those tomatoes, which you can tell are also fresh. Don't get me wrong, there are some fast food joints out there today that are trying to do their best with using fresh ingredients, but not many. Most places you go to, it's going to be frozen product. But that's so they can keep up with high demand and keep the cost down. I'm going to actually switch this back over to Roman. So he can try this other half of the burrito and let you know what he thinks about it. So I know he's going to like that. Just from the flavors and everything. If you look at this, this is a nice jalapeno. And as you know, I love jalapenos. You can taste the, the, the freshness of the egg. That's really good. Look at that nice salsa. Now, the queso cheese is a nice Mexican cheese you get with the burrito. It has its own kind of flavor. It's not like a, a typical cheese. And the salsa, which, if you look at the word salsa, it means sauce in Spanish. It's really good. This is a really good burrito. Really, really good quality burrito with the price i mean 8.99 i mean the thing was really fat and a lot of food and another thing we got too hold on man. i just want to try some of this it's their signature sauce let's see how this tastes with the mm. has a good smell to it that's some good sauce kind of like a sweet tangy Kind of like what honey sweet, mustard. What is it, sweet and sour? Hmm. Oh, this has like a little bit of a honey and mustard flavor to it also. Well, that's good. Take a look at this. It's a foot-long chili cheese hot dog. Honey hot dog with cheese. And I mean, just look at that. Oh, I'm still going to cut this in half because I'm going to share with Ronan. I'm only going to eat half of it. Before I switch it back over to Ronan, let me just take a bite. So you just can uh, get my point of view on it. I mean, just look at Just by itself, cut in half, it's now a normal size dog. Look at how long and big that was. cheese on this one definitely reminds me of like government cheese the sauce tastes like hot dog sauce what they call like a hot dog chili it has that same flavor it's like the hot dog chili you buy in a can from the store but to me that's delicious I, I love that stuff the hot dog itself has really good flavor it's a nice soft steam bun and when you look at that
Road. That queso cheese is outstanding. Seriously. Some people might not remember a long time ago, they had this thing, that it was the government cheese, and it had such a really good flavor. I'm not saying it's totally like this, but like that, but it has such a good flavor. It's just outstanding. And the chili sauce, really, really nice. My hat's off to Sonic for having such a good product. Over. This is what the price. Another thing I like too is that they actually use styrofoam cups here. Now, what's nice about the styrofoam is that uh, it actually keeps it cold longer. The only thing is, though, is here Sonic fills it up. Uh, there's not like there is at like McDonald's and Burger King or Wendy's where you go and fill it up yourself and you can get refills. That's the only difference about here. No. I got this burger here that comes on toast. I forgot which one that was on their menu. Yeah, uh, it was some cheesy bacon Sonic stuff. I mean, just look at this. It's like what we around here in, the, in this part of New England would call the poor man's burger. Because, you know, to cook it at home, we don't have uh, hamburg buns, so we just put it on some toast. I grew up eating burgers like that. I'm sure many of you viewers out there have too, no matter what part of the country you're in. And it's just something about burgers on a toast. I mean, look at that. Bacon, cheese, some pickles and onions. That's a good size patty. Again, it's like a smash burger. Just on that first bite, with the cheese, the bacon, and then that uh, pickle. It has more of like a fresh pickle taste, not exactly like a jar taste. Oh, it's dripping. Just the flavors with the grilled toast, flavor of the bacon. The cheese, the onions, the pickles. It really does go well together. And these tops and this signature sauce. Try some of the signature sauce on this. Oh, that's good. Just finished eating. I gotta say, I absolutely enjoyed everything that we had here today. From the burger that I had, to that uh, chili cheese coney dog, uh, the tater tots, uh, the signature sauce. I mean, it was all delicious. That burrito. I mean, fresh egg, fresh ingredients in that burrito. I would definitely highly suggest trying for yourself. Uh, everything you just saw us try today. I really liked it, especially the, with that Coney cheese dog there. Yeah. I mean, it had like the flavor of government cheese. Again, for people like me and Ronan, we like that kind of stuff. We grew up on government cheese. Some of the newer generation watching us may not know what we're talking about. May or may not. But everyone that's between our ages, we know you know exactly what we're talking about. Because more than likely, you yourself grew up on government cheese also. Nothing wrong with that. It's delicious, especially whether you fry it, grill cheese it. But, yeah, I would definitely recommend coming to Sonic, trying it for yourself. They also have other stuff here, too. They have, like, chicken sandwiches and chicken tenders. I know we didn't get that today. But if you'd like to see us come back and try some other stuff on the menu, please leave it in the comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see us try. Next time we come here, and we'll give it a try. I just really enjoyed the food here today. The comfortableness of this place, it's nice, spacious. Uh, 
the person who served us was outstanding. A1, you know, I like to reward people for doing an excellent uh, job when they do something excellent. And I think, you know, they have a very good crew here as well as all in all just really good products. So, yeah, I would recommend coming here to uh, try the food here. The hot dogs, I mean, that... I mean, I already told you how I how much I enjoyed it. The burger was nice and juicy, and it made a big deal for me uh, because, like I said, you know, I went to one place one time and I tried this smash burger, smash burger, and it was dry. It had no flavor, and I come here and I get a nice juicy smash burger, and it's two nice patties. And it had jalapenos and you know, all this other stuff. And you could see the dripping from the juice from the burger on the paper and stuff like that. Just really good. You know, when you're going to get a good product like that, uh, especially with the burrito and stuff like that, they should be rewarded for doing an excellent job. And Sonic, that's in uh, Somerset. Really good. So with all that said, we just want to thank all of you from the bottom of our heart for all of your love and your support thank you so much for always tuning in and watching all of these episodes if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell both are free and it highly helps out the channel also too if you haven't yet please head on over to facebook and instagram give us a like and follow over there the like and follow button are also free and it highly helps out the pages and if you'd like to not only support the channel a little bit more, but also pick up yourself some really cool merch, you can do so by heading over to the Food Lover Review Store merchandise site. As always, the link will be down in the description below and also right at the end of this video. And again, just thank you so much for all of your love and your support. We love you all, and we'll see you on the next review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.